Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I just got done with a little mini vacation with the fam and uh, Chubbs. And here we are. Hey, say hi. What's going on? <laughs> All right, so um, I want to clean the van up because I haven't washed it. We've done, we did a trip from Tampa to Louisville, Kentucky and back and a bunch of spaces in between and I haven't washed it since then last month. Uh, I kind of neglect the work van, as you can tell. Pretty dirty, I mean, it's nasty. Um, this door, uh, a little dented up. I'm actually gonna fix that this uh, winter. I'm gonna beat everything out and skim it and then uh, repaint it myself, but the boat slid off the trailer and <laughs> went into the door. Anyway, I beat it out so it's normal. The door functions properly, so I'm just gonna repair it anyway. You can see how bad it is. It's really nasty all over the place. Um, Chubbs and I are gonna knock out this interior real quick. All the kids, goldfish and all kinds of crap everywhere. I got junk all over my screen. So we're gonna get this uh, interior knocked out real quick. Basically, it, all it needs is a good vacuum and a wipe down, because I vacuumed it before we left. I just didn't do anything with the outside. So we're gonna be using the off-road lineup. And for all of those people out there, all of you out there who um, are like, okay, well, what's that off-road line for? Well, it's for really dirty vehicles that may go off-road, maybe they don't. Um, Anywhere from ATVs and side-by-sides uh, all the way up to, you know, mud trucks and just cars that get neglected. I mean, these are uh, super powered products, just like the rest of my lineup. Uh, we will be using the snow foam strip and prep concentrate today. I'm going to spray foam it with the uh, foam cannon. We'll get her scrubbed down. Uh, after that, uh, I may or may not clay it, I haven't decided, um, but we will be applying some all-surface all pr protectant on the van. Uh, I'll be using the off-road cleaner and degreaser, which is some pretty heavy-duty, awesome stuff. Uh, in fact, you can cut this in half it with water if you want. I won't be, I'm just gonna spray it on the wheels and tires, just like that, and the lower portions of the vehicle. Um, to get all the heavy caked on dirt off. Uh, as you can see, I have the uh, off-road trim protectant, trim treatment here. Uh, I'm gonna use that on the tires. I'm not a fan of tire gel. I don't really dress my tires, but since we're using the off-road lineup, I might, might as well show you what the trim treatment looks like. Um, we're gonna pull one of these benches out so I can get the bed back in there. Uh, I camp in this van. So we're gonna go ahead and get the interior knocked out, shut her down and get rolling on the outside. So here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the interior of the van is all clean. Uh, I did a damp shampoo in the front section. Look how nasty that is. I've never done it before. I bought this van right at one year ago. In fact, a year and a couple days ago I purchased this van, it had 28,000 miles on it. It was a rental van. Um, I just used about a quarter of the bottle to uh, break up all the dirt and grime. You just saw what I poured out. And I, I did none of this. So when I bought the van, it stunk really bad like somebody spilled milk in it. So I literally ripped all the carpet out. I threw away the original padding that came with the van and I put brand new, I bought a roll from Home Depot, put brand new padding underneath this carpet and I scrubbed and pressure washed all this carpet. You see there's a red stain there, there's some gum in it. Um, but it's my work van, not a huge deal. Uh, I just don't want the stinkiness and the germs. I, that's that's where I'm at. I don't. It doesn't have to be super, super perfect for me because perfection isn't reality, but I just damp shampooed all under there, under here, and all around here and both the passenger and driver side floorboards. So, smells better in here already. I wiped everything down and that kind of thing. Chubbs vacuumed everything out. Um, so, I just wanted to show you where we were at so far. Everything's all shampooed, looking nice, smelling better. So we're gonna shut it down and clean this bad boy look how bad look it's nasty 
these wheels just ridiculous bugs and all kinds of debris all kinds of crap on the windshield again hashtag work van hashtag work van life <laughs> hashtag no thanks anyway so time to get on the outside and you see how nasty it is gross all right we're gonna take this off-road snow foam strip and prep concentrate give it a good little shake and we're gonna put it in this empty foam cannon and we'll be right back all right before we hit it with the, the foam cannon um, I got Chubbs over here with the off-road uh, cleaner and degreaser just pre-spraying the wheels and tires and all the lower portions that have tar and sap and all the other crap all over them. Uh, that's what he's doing now. And then uh, we'll get both sides done and I'm going to spray it with the foam, let it soak for a minute, and then I'm going to get to scrubbing this thing down. And uh, we're kind of in a hurry today. I didn't actually, this is more of an impromptu random video than anything. We weren't planning to do this today, but the van really needs to be washed. And we got to drive it today out to the beach, so I'd need it to look decent. I'll be uh, putting my magnetics back on and that kind of thing to do some promotions. And you don't want to promote yourself as a detailer with a van that looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> which is why the magnetics aren't on there all right guys uh, we'll be back when we spray some foam well in the last segment you saw Chubbs uh, spraying the uh, cleaner and degreaser from the off-road lineup on the wheels and tires and the lower portions <laughs> when I started spraying it the stuff removed itself so much easier like I literally came behind so I, I, before he hit it with the degreaser, I hit it with the pressure. It did nothing. Did not remove any of that. He's hitting it with the degreaser. He let it set for a couple seconds. And now here, look. See that section all right there? Like nothing. <laughs> Came right off. And the wheels, look at this. All that browning. Look at that. That's disgusting. Look at all that. All right, I'm gonna get to work. Okay, so I'm getting my bucket filled up. Again, you need to take into consideration what the vehicle you're detailing is for. If it's a daily driver and it's a really nice one, you wanna take more care. I'm gonna do a traditional wash on this because it's extra bad. Plus, I haven't done one in a while. And I feel like when it's this heavy with dirt and it's such a massive vehicle it's just easier to scrub it down with my brush which i will be using my brush um and then spray it with deionized water and call it a day so i have put two ounces of the strip and prep snow foam into the foam cannon and filled it up with water um one, two, three, four is an ounce. And so I've got my water in my bucket. I've got my brush. And before you use a brush like this, I always recommend you spray it out, even though you might protect it and keep it in an area where it's not going to get debris in it. Let me get this thing fired up. Uh, this is the... Uh, Greenworks 1.2 GPM pressure washer that we're dealing with right now. I have not used it before, it's brand new. I did uh, modify it slightly. I added the Uber Flex. I added the Uber Flex hose to it. It's a 50 footer, um, a bunch of quick release M22 fittings. Yeah, that's nice. 
So clean out your wash media until you're happy with it. Um, I believe that it's fine. Again, work, work van. First thing we're going to do is knock the bulk off. And you can see it. Look, all that dirt being knocked off. Wow, this thing, oh wow, this thing works great. I like the flow of it better than my cartridge. Look how much nasty dirt. So that's what I like to do first is knock the bolt off. Look at this. That's nasty, man. You want to knock all that big debris off before you go in there uh, rubbing on it with the rug or your wash media or whatever. Man, I like this pressure washer already, dude. Uh, I will note that uh, this is not the hose or the gun that came with that pressure washer. The stuff it comes with is absolute garbage. It's a 20 to 25 foot hose, which is shit anyway. You need 50 foot for anything that you're going to do. I don't know why they give you 900 feet of electrical cord and they give you 20 feet of pressure washer hose I don't get it anyway doesn't matter to me I upgraded to the uber flex and put some fitting quick disconnect fittings on there and got me a better gun uh, with a quarter inch uh, quick disconnect here for the nozzles that actually do come with that pressure washer okay so I mentioned before um, we use the uh, cleaner and degreaser on all the lower areas the wheels and tires and then I hit it with some pressure to knock more bulk off before we did the snow foam portion of this video which I put in two ounces of the strip and prep off-road snow foam and then we filled it up with water I did spray it here before we started fil filming but here we go that's two ounces of this stuff to uh, 30 ounces of water pretty thick suds I'd say Awesome too, doesn't it? So I used all but probably four or five ounces, but I usually won't have to foam it that heavy or use that much. I could probably get three vans out of this if I were to done it the normal way and it wasn't as dirty as it was, but I always tend, just like most people, I tend to overuse a little bit. Um, this time I did it purposely, so. All right, now we give it a couple of minutes and uh, start the scrub down. It's 
So we'll be back uh, when we get into the scrubbing it down portion. Okay, I'm gonna just uh, froth up the bucket a little bit. Now I'm just gonna literally just start scrubbing it down. We got a little bit of it done already. We did the uh, front end and the, the roof, but y'all didn't want to see me all up there doing all that craziness. Right? I mean, some people will pay for that. What, Gary Dean and odd spaces? <laughs> hey, you know, who they, knows? They'd probably pay to see me uh, get run over by a car or something like that. But. Again, you're probably watching this and thinking, oh, oh my God, he's using a brush on his car. Oh, I can't even believe it. I can't even stand to watch this crazy blasphemy. Well, guess what? Shit happens. And I'm a real world detailer. I detail in Earth's atmosphere, not in outer space where some people like to live on the internet. Uh, I'm realistic. It's my work van. I like it to be clean. But I don't care if it's got a surface scratch here and there. It doesn't bother me at all. Now here's the thing I've always said and people have made comments and tried to make fun of me for it. Here's the thing. If I scratch it, I can fix it. You can too. So people have said negative things about me saying, I don't mind swirls because I can fix them. Well, that's the truth and you can fix them too. I will show you how. Anyway, this is white. I bought it white on purpose so that I wasn't chasing every scratch all the time. Um, we camp in this van. We, we use this van a lot. I put, uh, usually, you know, if we're going to, a show or an event or anything like that we'll still try to camp in the van just because we my wife and I just like camping but uh a lot of times you're in the woods a lot of times you're in an area where you have to hit a tree limb you have to hit shrubbery bushes or whatever to get through wherever you're trying to get through and uh it happens so, for me, I keep this van looking pretty good. Um, I do not keep it anywhere like my Camaros or my other cars, because those are date night cars. Those are, those are hanging out cars. Those are, those are toys. This is a functional piece of equipment. This is a, a tool, if you will. And uh, this actual, this brush actually has a, a nice rubber bumper around it. So if you hit something like I just did on the bumper there, it's not going to hurt anything. So one side down, I'm going to go ahead and give the tires scrub. Again, work van, that's, that's what's important here. Work van, not toy, straight up work van. I want it to look presentable, but I have no interest in feeling like I can't use it properly because I'm worried about scratching it. My wife tells me all the time when we're in one of my uh, fun cars, we go out on date night or whatever, and I'm like, watch your feet. Don't scuff my door jam. Or, no, you can't drink in here because I don't want you to spill anything. She's like, and she's totally right, guys. She's like, why do you want a fancy, nice car that you spend all this money for if you can't use it? You're going to worry about it all the time. 
she's perfectly right. I mean, I use this thing. I use all of my cars. I'm not a swirl Nazi. I like them to look nice. I definitely take far better care of my fun cars than I do my work van. But this video is all about showing you that even a high-end detailer like myself, if I do say so, um, high-end, I mean, knowing the ins and outs of what you're doing, having the experience and uh, having the work uh, and being busy. Uh, I, I call that a high-end detailer, somebody who's actively pursuing doing it for a living and just slaying the detailing. And that's what we do. It's how we roll around here at DetailJuice.com and Gary Dean Detailing. But uh, that's how I scrub down the work van. And so now, that lip a little better. There you go, you learned something today. You learned how to scrub down an old work van. What do you say to that? No, seriously, um, my whole point to all of that rambling and all of the gibberish I was just speaking a minute ago, yeah, I was trying to make a joke, trying to be a little bit comical, but here's the deal. You take different types of care for diff different types of situations and being a very well-rounded detailer, you've got to, be able to come out of that hobbyist mentality of making everything perfect when it doesn't need to be. Because the reality is, perfection is not reality. So with the work van, I want it to look presentable, but it's white. It won't show a lot of swirls and scratches unless it's in direct sunlight. And even then I don't care because I use it. I'm gonna hit trees and shrubs and bushes and that kind of thing in the life of this van. So, I don't want to chase my tail or worry about it too much. I want to enjoy the van. I want to enjoy the situation that I'm using the van for. And with all of that said, the van gets great care. It just doesn't get the same care as my fancy cars. That's it. All right, I'm going to get back to work on this thing. We'll bring you back after I got it all scrubbed down. All right, my peeps. So the van is all done. We're actually out of time today. So unfortunately, there's no time on this video to protect the van. Uh, and I don't really like tire shine personally anyway. And I gotta have the van serviced soon as far as, I changed my own oil, but I'm gonna take it in and I gotta uh, have the tires rotated just cause it's a big beast and I can't do it in the garage nor on this uh, pretty dramatic uh, descent on the driveway. I can't get a jack to hold the van up, unfortunately. Uh, and there's no room in my garage. It wouldn't fit in there anyway, even if I didn't have the rack on top. But anyway, you can see how nice and clean the van is now. Wheels and tires are looking nice. Um, none of that crazy build up all over it. And that's Man, it was nasty. Uh, I had uh, my boy Chubbs right here. He's been working hard. You can see he's sweating. Uh, he wiped down the door jams and vacuumed out the inside for me. Uh, and I got the outside straightened out. So what I did was we literally used, well, Chubbs used a whole bottle between shampooing the carpets on the interior and basically trying to decontaminate the whole outside. We used 16 ounces. Well, Probably half an ounce left in there. But uh, that was used all over the paint, pretty much everywhere, the whole front end, right? With the bugs and all that. So we used it all over the front end, uh, all over uh, all the chrome on the bumpers, uh, everywhere in the low, lower portion of the van. 
uh, the backs of the mirrors, uh, wheels and tires, fender wells. So uh, we used the whole bottle of that because it was really nasty. In fact, he sprayed all back here. So it was thoroughly doused. Uh, and then we used the foam cannon to, to spray on uh, some nice, thick, luxurious foam. Uh, this is the strip and prep. There's uh, four soaps in the uh, off-road lineup. Uh, that one is for heavy-duty cleaning, which is what we needed here. So that's where we're at. Unfortunately, we only used the two products today. Um, but that's all right. I got the job done with just the two products, and that's it. She's all shiny. It looks good. It's a 2018 van other than this, which I'll have fixed this winter. Uh, it looks pretty good. So... This has been uh, two of the off-road products. So check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. If you wanna learn more about these off-road products and my other lineups, get in the group or just text me, 813-846-4406. Hell, give me a call. If I can help you with your detailing endeavors, I wanna do that. Uh, whether you use my products or not, I'll help you out. Doesn't matter to me, um, but you just saw the great job that that soap and degreaser did on this uh, work van. I think I mentioned that a few times in this video. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and listening to me babble. I appreciate the time you took out of your day to watch this video. And if you got questions, use my number. I can't help you if you don't ask. Thanks again, guys. Have a wonderful day.